The last few years, electric cars have started to gain a little ground on the gas-powered vehicles. EVs are getting cheaper. They can go farther on a single charge, and there's more charging stations popping up all the time. But when winter comes around and those temperatures drop, EVs start to lag behind. They charge slower. They can't go as far as their fossil fuel, co fuel counterparts. We've seen this problem all over the country this week, and as WRL's Destiny Patterson reports, experts in North Carolina say there may be some solutions. These EV chargers are in high demand. I've seen several drivers come through here with just a few miles left. Part of the reason for that is that their batteries just don't last quite as long in the cold. Felix Zhang wills this charging station to cooperate. It says it's still preparing, it's still sinking. With literally three miles left, the possibility of being stranded becomes very real. Overnight, my battery dropped like 20, 30 percent just because of how cold it was. We take a look at our morning lows. Boy, we were right there in the uh, in the mid teens this morning. Not the best conditions for EV owners. A 2019 AAA study found that the average driving range decreases by about 41 percent when the temperature hits 20 degrees. When you have chemicals in there, the converting into electricity be a reaction. So the reactions need certain energy to speed up. When it gets cold, they don't get enough energy to speed up. It comes at a time of more investment in EV transportation, like the nearly $27 million poured into North Carolina schools for electric school buses. It's largely considered a more eco-friendly option. Srinath Akkad with NC State says there's no single solution at this point. Building a jacket around your electric battery so that it keeps the battery warm. Building the battery in a different way. But those in the industry are working on it. Commercially available EV cars are less than 10, 12 years old. So another 10, 15 years, these, these questions will be answered. Regardless, possible improvements are welcome news for EV drivers like Zhang. It's gotten started now, so hopefully I'm, I'm not stranded now. Destiny Patterson, WREL News.